Now we have another equation, a system of equations. Here it is. We can see what our a vector is. We're going to again assume y equals e to the lambda t times some x1, x2, and we're going to find x1, x2. Okay, having made this assumption, and we're going to find lambda, then we're going to find x1, x2. Having made this assumption, as we did before, a miracle occurs, and we get determinant of a minus lambda i, which has to be zero. Now, you should understand the miracle, but if you don't, skip to this step and don't forget it. Okay, if you understand the miracle, you understand, you, you'll, you'll see how this emerges, and you don't have to memorize that this is what you do. But you're probably going to do that anyway. Okay. Um, still, encourage you to understand the steps from here to here. Uh, well, then that gives us the a minus lambda i vector is this, that's equal to this, and the solutions are lambda equals plus 2 plus or minus square root of 3i. So now we're going to have a minus lambda i times x1, x2 is going to have to equal 0, 0. Now there's a step in there where we divide by the e to the lambda t. Uh, but that's always going to be the case. Um, so we've got lambda equals 2 plus the square root of 3i. We just choose the plus. Again, one less minus sign to worry about. And we solve this equation to find our x1 and x2. And any solution for x1, x2 is OK. OK, now I'm just outlining the solution. You should go through this solution. OK, then you write out e to the 2 plus 3 square root of 3i times t times x1, x2, after you found your x1 and x2. And you put that in the form uh, real, big fancy y1, we'll make that one big fancy, and a big fancy y2 uh, times i. And our fundamental sets y1, y2, big fancy y1, y2, both big fancy. And we check to make sure our round skin's non-zero. We've got two solutions. That's an outline of the process. We go through the details. You should be able to go through the details in this one, if necessary, looking back at the other one. Okay, now, uh, I'll do one more video just to show you how I make up these kinds of complex matrices so that they aren't too nasty and hopefully that's what we get on the next test.